Ladies and gentlemen, there's a difference between going back in time and finding out what somebody tweeted 10 years ago to hold it against them and to try to get them, um, you know, let go from work or fined or censured in some manner or to experience repercussions in some manner in this day and age because of something they said that was offensive a million years ago in some pseudo-moralistic, warped and twisted manner, which is what Democrats, the left, morally superior liberal voters do. That's an example of canceling somebody through this arbitrary process that's predicated simply on the attainment of political influence, political power. That's the only thing, the only reason... You know, journalists and morally superior liberals go back in time or try to punish people for what they said, a joke online or, you know, anything that they feel is problematic, okay? There's a difference between trying to erase somebody from history because of a word or a phrase or something they said that they apologized for and... Not a, not simply joining another political party. What President Trump and the Republican Party, or I should say Trump Republicans, are doing is that they're looking at Kinzinger and Cheney, and they're about to kick both of them, expel both of them out of the Republican Party. That's because of President Trump. 2022 is going to be a Trump Republican year within basically the official takeover of the Republican Party by populist Uh, conservatives, people who want to end regime changes and never-ending military conflict and counterinsurgency uh, conflicts, perpetual, endless uh, interventions, people who are okay with um, tariffs against the largest, what will soon be the largest economy in the world by far, prison reform legislation, a whole bunch of things, people focused on uh, freedom, which um, is very difficult to, well, very difficult for certain people on the left to define. But hit subscribe to this channel right now. Kinzinger and Cheney voted alongside President Trump 90% of the time. Kinzinger, according to Adam Kinzinger, according to 538, 90.2% of the time. Okay, the 538 uh, link is below. Now, Liz Cheney voted alongside President Trump. Uh, 92.9% of the time. What does that tell you? How many people are talking about this? Hit subscribe to this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, share this segment. To my super thanks on the uploads, I want to thank Yvonne Criado. Thank you so very much. Last segment. And Ed O'Reilly. Thank you so very much. They showed super thanks, which is, you know, buying me a cup of coffee or supporting the channel, um, you know, in in a really wonderful manner. Um, the super thanks is right next to the like button and right next to the share button below. You can hit super thanks, and if you want to support my work and my channel, um, that's greatly appreciated. I don't have twenty million dollars in venture capital funding like some people who are, by the way, facing a discrimination case as they make more money, make endless boatloads of money pontificating about social issues while they face a discrimination case. Gee, the irony, the hypocrisy is never ending, but that's the way our political system works. So to my super thanks, thank you so very much. If you want to, if you, if you want to support this channel, uh, the button is below right next to the share button and the like button. And if you want to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, other publications, go to hagoodman.com. You can see my debates there as well. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a difference between um, Clinton and the DNC or Democrats going after Tulsi Gabbard saying that she was uh, working on behalf of Russian interests. There's a difference between... um, one YouTuber who failed to even defend a journalist from slanderous comments pertaining to his um, journalistic endeavors 
and how they're linked to Russian interests. I mean, basically, if you if you deviate from the Democratic Party, you're actually slandered. And you're actually accused of working for the Kremlin or for Putin. This is a complete lack of logic. It's completely irrational. The whole Trump-Russia myth was fabricated to begin with by people like Cheney and others. It started first with the Republicans. If you're going to blame Trump, first of all, in addition to the fact that Cheney and Kinzinger voted alongside Trump over 90% of the time, um, within, according to 538, then you should also ask, why hasn't President Trump been indicted or charged in a D.C. court or a federal court? He hasn't been, the charges have not been leveled against Trump for compelling or telling people to do anything that fateful day. I am against what took place. I condemn what took place that horrible day. Five people should be alive today. Okay? 25 people should be alive, according to Wikipedia, and the $1 to $2 billion in property damage should never have taken place. That was four to five months prior to November. Was Kinzinger crying? Did Adam Kinzinger cry for any of the lives lost in, in the four to five months prior to November? When you had $1 to $2 billion in property damage, did he shed a tear for the lives lost or for the people who lost their businesses, their revenues, their sources of income while America was, sh was basically shutting down its entire economy because it decided to do so because of safety? Do you think Cheney or Kensinger or any of the good Republicans even cared? Did they protest along with majority peaceful uh, First Amendment uh, people, you know, um, exercising their First Amendment rights in a peaceful way that just happened to lead to $1 to $2 billion in property damage, simply saying that, well, you know, um, that, was, that was for um, a, a good cause. It, there is no cause or, or, or reason that justifies $1 to $2 billion in property damage, arson, people losing their businesses, 25 people losing their lives, according to Wikipedia. There's no just cause, there's no explanation. You can say, well, it's a repercussion of people trying to do good. Okay, the road to you know where is paved with good intentions. There are people who try to do good, and if the outcome is horrendous, well, that says something about their moral vantage point. You can't simply pick and choose the atrocity that you find, um, you know, reprehensible and that you can pontificate against. You can't simply say, well, this horrendous tragedy is worthy of an investigation, whereas terrible tragedies that could be pol uh, politically detrimental to the Democratic Party are not worth investigation. They're not worth grandstanding. They're not, there's no commission there. Well, we know what took place. And we, you know, we, we, you had Democrats bailing out protesters. You had Democrats telling their constituents to get into people's faces. I mean, the words, the double standard is, is unbelievable. The hypocrisy. It's not about, nobody, there's not a, a rational person on the planet that said what took place uh, in, 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 you know, last Jan, uh, you know, several, you know, five, four or five, six months back. There's not a rational person that says that, that it was good or, or, you know, there's, it was bad. It should never have taken place. President Trump shouldn't even ha have had protests that day. I, I was saying that he should have created a national discourse, dialogue, debate, discussion. He had so many venues to do so. There was nothing good that was going to come out of that day. But the day happened, and he wasn't charged or indicted. And so because they couldn't charge or indict him, like the Mueller probe, they couldn't charge or indict Trump, uh, for colluding with Russia, they extracted and milked and tried to derive every single ounce of political utility possible. And then they get basically turncoats, basically Democrats. They get, look, conservative. these are conservative Democrats. Adam Kinzinger is a conservative Democrat. He voted alongside President Trump 90 plus percent of the time. So did uh, Cheney 92 plus percent of the time. But he is, he, like Cheney and others, Mitt Romney, they, they, they know the writings on the wall. They know that Trump has taken over the Republican Party. So they're going to try to just get as much uh, 
trying to make it as lucrative as possible. So then when they leave office or they get primaried out, which they will, eventually all of these never Trumpers will be primaried out in 2022. They can get on CNN and MSNBC and, like Joe Scarborough, become the good Republicans and make a boatload of money. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Their, their careers as Republicans are pretty much either done or going to end by 2022 because of Trump. Trump is going to single-handedly expel all of these Democrats from the Republican Party. It's not about principle. If it's about principle, then where's the commission for last summer's very peaceful endeavors? Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. To my super thanks, I cannot thank you enough. Um, the super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons. If you want to support my voice and my work and this channel, if I present... You know, politics, the world in a manner that, you know, if I can communicate or explain things in a way that other people don't and you find my work intriguing or amusing or enlightening in any way, your support is greatly appreciated. Share the segment. And if you want to uh, buy me a cup of coffee, uh, the super thanks is below uh, next to the share and like button. Thank you so very much.